Journalism is, or well, is supposed to be, by definition, the occupation of uh, documenting, writing, editing, uh, photographing and publishing news in a semi-business conduct, uh, which that's the definition of it. Uh, however, journalism nowadays, of course, there are still certain outlets that do adhere to that form of journalism. There are some that stray in a sort of different direction into a negative direction. Specifically, what I want to talk about is the dreadfully shite uh, gossip type lifestyle celebrity news journalism, which really is not journalism. Like, people write those articles you see about some fucking celebrity going on a swimming trip, like, that is not, ju that is not newsworthy, that is not noteworthy, why is your occupation to document this, no one cares, and the people who do care, seriously, reevaluate what you care about, because that shit is not important, our, it's that way of media, in obsessed world that we live in, it seems that the majority of not the majority of actual news, but the majority of news that you see that is heavily, you know, spread about is that specific type. So it just seems so overwhelming that the majority of what we're taking in and seeing is this god awful reporting on absolutely insignificant and just useless shit. Like the quality of some of these newspapers is genuinely like. I wouldn't even use it as toilet paper, it's that shit. Let me just go on my phone and have a look and see what are the first few things that pop up on uh, the news, okay? So just from a quick look, the three things I've seen is a celebrity posts pictures of her with a baby bunk because she's pregnant. Don't care. If I did care, you know, I'd be following that person and would see those images in my feed. I don't need the media throwing that at me. Uh, the next thing I see is a video of some mother telling someone to cover up their ass, okay, why is, you know, like, and then the next is, uh, the dude from Fire Festival's got a boyfriend, good for him, I suppose, but is, that's not news, is it, that's just dreg, like, and especially the actual writing on it, you read some of these, especially the biggest culprit is definitely, like, the Daily Mail, it genuinely, I don't think these kids, like, past nursery level English, like, it is dreadful grammar, and it is not common to see spelling mistakes in these shit, and you think, as an occupation, if you're steeping this low into this type of shit, you would at least, you know, spell shit right, at least, but no, they don't. A more valid reason why these are fucking dreadful, other than, you know, their shit tier quality, is the fact that... You know, maybe if it happened once, that'd be fine, but because it's happened so, so many times, it's uh, inexcusable now. The fact that these, you know, tabloid-type newspapers are responsible for so much slander and defamation, and it just is continuous and happens, you know, on a near, like, bi-monthly basis. You have some star suing a newspaper for, for printing some shitty article about something they did which is half true and has ruined their career so and so and it's like it's none of your business don't publicize and you know turn it into a monetary business like come on so uh, more modernly well, because these still exist uh, but something that's come up more especially on social media uh, things like the hollywood fix if you've heard of that which i dread it is dreadful it's honestly it's this dude with a camera who stalks celebrities and asks them really weird questions, and it's even worse considering lots of the celebrities are TikTokers, meaning they're, you know, teenagers and children that this dude is going out of his way to follow. And it's just, like, covers something important to people's lives, honestly. If people are interested in that TikToker, they're going to follow that TikToker's TikTok and see their feed and find out from them. We don't need, you know, a 40-year-old man stalking them when they're coming out of a Starbucks to ask them questions about their relationship. It's honestly just not even... Like, what is your reason? Like, and the fact that they still make so much money, like, media and, you know, newspapers and all this uh, are in 
are big, big business, and it's just making money off of shit, honestly. And it's that thing, people still buy it. And you know, I'll make this video and people will see it, hopefully, and say, yeah, yeah, I know their shit. They're terrible. And then we'll still go out and pay for these magazines. It's honestly terrible. Like, get your news, one, focus on good news and get your news from a reputable, reputable source. Of course, it's fine to be interested in this, but it doesn't need to be to this extent. It's just like a perversion, honestly.